Yeah, so outside right now, uh, the heat's going to be our story tomorrow. Again, so our, okay. it's our last day of, of the uh, current heat wave. But boy, we got some strong storms out there yes, as we indeed. speak. You can hear the rumbling there. Oh, my word. Look at this. I want to start you out with our live camera. There it is. This is the Wetlands Institute right outside of Stone Harbor. That camera is looking to the west. And that storm that you see there in the distance is the storm that's rolling in over the Delaware Bay that is going to be over your area here down the shore again in another probably 20 minutes or so and talk about the frequent lightning that has been a big part of our weather story tonight. Here it is on the overall big map and I'll zoom you down again. Stone Harbor here. We're looking back at this system here that is right over the Delaware Bay. Severe thunderstorm warnings are on these two systems. So we're looking at uh, Cumberland County and back over to Kent County. These are up until about midnight 1215 somewhere in there. Damaging winds going to be the biggest feature, but also once more the lightning. It's incredible. Every one of these is a cloud to ground lightning strike. So if I just take a sample, random sample of a, of a box like this, just in the last 15 minutes within this box, there have seven. That's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> it's not seven. I promise you it's not seven. Well, there you go. It doesn't want to work for me. But just that little sample there was 237. We're talking about six, 700 lightning strikes in this box in the last 15 minutes. So that's going to probably keep you up. I know kids, animals, some, some of you maybe, uh, you know, get a little concerned when this comes through, get a little scared. It's going to be loud for a while. Uh, so we'll go Milford at 1154, Egg Harbor, 1221, Atlantic City, probably about 1240, maybe an hour uh, on some of the uh, northern or farther east parts of our shore locations. So once this moves out, we're going to dry out for the rest of the night. But I want to walk you through your future cast because tomorrow, a little fog in the morning, dry for the first half of the day. But now we get the cold front coming through. So once again, afternoon and evening, I'll pause this and say six. We're tracking a line of some showers and storms that will possibly have severe components to them. And that will roll across this time tomorrow night, still tracking a few here and there. But as this cold front moves through, it will end this current heat wave and it'll be much cooler by the time we get to Thursday and beyond. So the early storms coming to an end tonight, 78 degrees, very muggy, very warm, probably more like 75, uh, 86 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning, back up into the mid nineties with those scattered showers and those thunderstorms. I would not be surprised at all if we once again get put under the severe thunderstorm watch for our day tomorrow. We are in the slight risk category from Storm Prediction Center. That's a two out of five, meaning scattered severe storms are possible. It is the most active day in our seven day forecast. Once we get past it and the cold front rolls through, we have some clearing few, maybe lingering showers Thursday morning. Then it clears out. We're back to normal here on Friday. Humidity levels lower. I wouldn't say it's totally dry, but it'll be much lower. So there you go. That's tomorrow. Keep you updated right here. We'll be right back.